West Central softball coach John Morrison joining us uh, after a 14-4 win over Etowah Weathersfield, now 5-8 and eight on the season. Coach, tell me how this season has gone for the West Central Heat. A lot of walks. Uh, a lot of walks and uh, some mistakes on defense, but we're hitting the ball hard. Uh, scoring a lot of runs, but we're, <laughs> we're allowing a lot of runs. So. See, seems like offensively uh, a very aggressive team on the base paths, uh, which led to a lot of runs here this afternoon. Yes. Yes, uh, that's, that's kind of the way we play. We've got a lot of speed, youth, and uh, try to utilize them. Go, uh, go through this lineup and, and tell me who the, uh, the big hitters have been for the Heat. Uh, my first two batters were hitting right around 550. Uh, Alexis Sandemeyer and Jessica Ditsworth, they're both freshmen. Uh, tons of speed, tons of talent, and uh, that's that's pretty much pretty much them. And then we're following that up with uh, Mariah Brooks, which is a senior. She's hitting right around 500 with a lot of power. Uh, another senior batting cleanup, Alyssa Johnson. She's hitting right around four and a half. And then uh, Madison Newberry. Uh, she's starting to pick her average up. Power hitter. Uh, she's a freshman. Uh, let's see, have another freshman playing third base, hitting six, that's Kayla Long. And uh, number seven's Erin Bavery, she's a senior playing right field for me, she's hitting the ball well. We're all hitting the ball one through nine. Uh, let's see, Hillary Penn, she's playing third base, uh, and she's, she's a junior. You mentioned uh, a pretty diverse lineup, pretty diverse roster, freshmen through senior. How have they gelled? It seems like, at least this afternoon, they've come together pretty nicely as a team. That's that's pretty much our season. It's either feast or famine for us. Uh, we played Galesburg, jumped on them five to nothing, and and led most of the game and lost in the bottom of the seventh, ten to nine. Uh, last night, twelve to ten in Bushnell. Uh, we'd go out and score four runs, give three back. It's that's just kind of the really, real uh, only real solid game we played is Abington. Uh, lost five to two to them, but that's we played good defense, had good pitching, and hit the ball. It's just a I'd, I'd, I'd rather see games like that than 14 to four. Tell me about this uh, conference race uh, in the LTC now, three and two in the Lincoln Trail. What does the outlook look like in the LTC? Uh. Looks like United and Princeville is pretty much the front runners, and then there's everybody else. Uh, we played Rova. That was our first two. Well, Stark County was our first two. Uh, we we led them into the bottom of the bottom of the sixth, and uh, ended up losing to them. And then they come down here and beat up, beat up on us pretty bad. Uh, then we took two from Rova on on a Saturday, which surprised me because I figured they'd be real strong. Well, they are real strong. We just I thought we'd turn the corner there, and then we ended up playing Galesburg, North Fulton, and uh, Abington the following week, and uh, that was a pretty tough road to hope for us. What type of uh, goals have you set out for this year's team? Uh, well, when you've only won four games in the last two years, you're just building and uh, just trying to teach them the game of softball. Even my seniors, it's, they're, you know, they're just like freshmen. 